they, they just walk their flags off. Right? You gotta position that flag. So, I had to move it. So when the kids, I, 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 got, I didn't want the flag going out. So I kept looking at it right in the middle of the two. Right in the middle. He's right been here. Nope. Yeah, he's played for me. Yeah. You need to ask him where he wants the Japanese flag. Probably a year. I mean, there's still lots of sides.
Ladies and gentlemen, before we begin our program today, I would like to thank uh, most uh, graciously uh, Major Honda and his staff and the Japanese ground defense, uh, self-defense forces for opening up their, their doors and their hearts for us to have our ceremony today, today in this beautiful facility. So Major Honda and staff, thank you so much for having us. We appreciate it. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, would you please rise for the processional presentation of the colors and the playing of the Japanese and United States national anthems.
Please be seated. Welcome, distinguished guests, faculty, parents, students, relatives, friends, and more importantly, members of the class of 2015. Seniors, you are prepared to move on. You have the knowledge and skills to be successful in today's world. It will be sad to see you go, but we look forward to seeing you grow and change during the coming year. There are a few statistics that I would like to share with the audience about this class. There are 57 members of the class of 2015, 26 young women and 31 young men. As far as longevity in this community is concerned, three students have been here since birth, seven students were born in Japan, 21 started in the ninth grade at Zama American High School, and six became, I'm sorry, six came here for their senior year. As far as future plans are concerned, seven will enlist into the military, six plan to attend a two-year college, 35 plan to attend a four-year college, and two plan to attend a military academy. This is an exceptional class. They've earned approximately $2.4 million in scholarships. They will attend colleges and universities across the United States and Japan. Thanks to the local organizations that award scholarships to our Zama students. It does cost a small fortune to send a student to college, so I'm sure the students and their families greatly appreciate the support. I would now like to introduce our senior class president, Ms. Erin Che. Good morning, Zama American High School. <laughs> it's okay, I'll stop there. I'm sure you thought you heard the last of the morning announcements. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, my fellow peers, and soon-to-be graduates. Today is a momentous day. We finally reached the day we've been counting down for and working hard for these past couple months. Today is the day we are rewarded for our dedication, diligence, and perseverance. Our journey began not four years ago, but when we were born. I say not four years ago because learning is a continuous process. As each one of us knows, you cannot jump into things like AP Japanese, AP Spanish, or AP Calc. We start at the basics, like learning simple equations and learning the characters, and then we move on to more complex things. At many of our beginnings in 1996 and 1997, computers were monochromatic. Apple was making their debut, 9-11 hadn't happened, and the whole world of social media had yet to penetrate our everyday lives. Some things are timeless, though, like the friendships and the memories we've made these past four years. There is no doubt that these four years have included both good and bad things. We've endured awkward homecoming dances, heartbreaks, watching Friday night football night games, and meeting new best friends, experiencing new cultures, and what it means to both fail and succeed. At one point or another, each of us has faced at least one form of failure and adversity these past four years, and we all have seen it through. As humans, our bodies and minds are stronger than we think. We are able to turn that failure into something great, proof as we sit here today. Dr. H made the profound statement in one incredibly long physics lecture I just so happened to be awake for that really resonated in me this uh, past year. He said, even when the sun has just set, you can still see a light. So remember, even when you think there's only darkness, I promise you, there will always be light if you look hard enough. Sorry, Dr. H, that was probably a little bit more metaphorical than you intended. On the front of our graduation invitation, you may have noticed our class motto, today we follow, tomorrow we lead. Do not wait until tomorrow to stand up and lead a life of passion and joy. In a recent Facebook post by Jacob Sides, he said, what now? What now? What a scary question. Some of you had some great answers. Mackenzie Simmers said, sleep a lot. <laughs> Brian Long said, actually do my homework. And Ruth Nay said, change the freaking world. Tomorrow has come. 
So let's change the freaking world. Thank you and congratulations, class of 2015. My name is Akane Hansen, and today, unlike most days, I decided to wear my glasses to better see my fellow classmates, teachers, and most importantly, my mother's reaction as she finds out for the first time that I'm salutatorian of this class. <laughs> Over the past few days, I viewed several salutatorian and valedictorian graduation speeches and noticed that many of these students gave very general, often cliche, life advice that was meant to help their peers in their future endeavors. However, let me say that I personally don't feel very qualified to give such advice because as unlikely as it may seem, this is actually my first time graduating from high school. <laughs> Regardless, I can tell you some things about the students graduating today. Despite our overall boisterous and uncaring nature, I am quite fond of this class. Graduates of 2015, you are the charismatic, the relentless, the hardworking, the kind, and the beautiful people I have always admired. Though rare, you've shown me that we can band together and become a very strong class, capable of doing very evil things. <laughs> but there's hope for some good in the future, like graduating from high school. I think we're doing everyone a favor by doing that. <laughs> Teachers, counselors, and school admi administrators, Thank you for your patience and dedication. Whether you had us as students or not, outside or inside of the classroom, we owe each of you a thank you. Truly, your words, actions, and thoughts have had a profound impact on our lives. Friends, you too have made high school worth trudging through. We will miss the people here at Zama High, and I know that the respective graduates whom you came to see today have you in their thoughts. Now, part of me has been peer pressured by the class of 2015 and Mr. John T. Bin, whom I heard from indirectly, that I should avoid long speeches glorifying my family members. And I take that as good advice. Rest assured, family and friends, both mine and not mine, that my few remarks are hardly any summation of all the appreciation I have for the individuals in my life. To my mom, thanks for being my best friend for so long. And I, I'm sorry, I can guarantee that you will still be my best friend even when I'm in college. I can't see my dad. Okay, dad, <laughs> um, thanks for taking care of me. Oh, there you are, okay. <laughs> and dedicating yourself so much to music that you've inspired me to become a music educator as well. And of course, shout out to the band whose faces I can mostly see now, so. <laughs> and to my other family members here today, um, Kaylin, Abby, Shallon, Jeff, Colby, Katie, and Sakwatan, I love you all. On a concluding note, I hope everyone graduating today will become successful individuals in their own ways. Whether you all become professional soccer players, Japanese voice actors, psychologists, or CEOs of Popeyes, it really doesn't matter <laughs> as long as you're happy. But I gotta say, I'd be pretty surprised if all of you guys become CEOs of Popeyes because I don't think Popeyes needs that many CEOs. <laughs> also, thank you all so much, not just the class of 2015, but members of this audience for laughing and bearing my jokes. In fact, these very lines that I'm reading to you right now had been conditional upon the audience's receptiveness of my jokes. So thank you. Anyhow, I'm keeping it short. Congratulations, class of 2015. It's been fantastic spending high school with you and I'm gonna miss you all very much. I hope today will continue to be a happy and memorable day for each of you. Thank you.
Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Rachel Bostick, and I am the ba class valedictorian. I am very honored to be here. Thank you to everyone who has come to support our class today. A special thank you goes to our teachers, administration, and parents. You have been our role models and mentors throughout our journey. Those of you who know me probably wondered if I was going to come up here and start talking about math. Well, I am, <laughs> but don't worry, I'm answering that age-old question. When do we use math in real life? One of the simplest ideas in math is a reflexive property. It means that x equals x, five equals five, dog equals dog, and you equal you. You are who you are. Be yourself and don't deny who you are. Actress Judy Garland said, always be a first-rate version of yourself and not a second-rate version of someone else. So wherever you go and whatever you do, Never forget what matters most to you. Out in the world, we'll be faced with choices. Think about your values, your goals, the best version of yourself. As you understand yourself, who you are, you'll better be able to make the choice that is you. How can you get the answer 36? 35 plus one, six squared, 36 times one, even negative four plus 40. There's more than one way to reach the answer. There's more than one way to reach, reach success. Even if you sh take a few steps backward, it doesn't mean you should quit. It just means you have to take more steps forward. Don't get down when you see someone else succeeding when you're not. You simply need to find another way to success. American poet Ralph Waldo Emerson said, do not go where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and make a trail. Oftentimes when you need to find the lengths of the sides of a triangle, you need to look at the triangle's various angles. It's the same in life. Sometimes you have to look at your situation from another angle. When you're faced with a setback, look at it from a different perspective. Think about how you can learn and move on from your mistakes and obstacles. When you're faced with a difficult person, look at the scenario from the other person's perspective. How does he or she feel? In the words of the Greek writer, Nikos Kazantzakis, since we cannot change reality, let us change the eyes which see reality. Y equals MX plus B. Y is a variable. M is a variable, X is a variable, B is a variable. Life is full of variables. Expect change. People change, situations change, plans change. Don't fight change, embrace it. Going to Zama American High School means that we are all accustomed to change. Friends come and go, and we ourselves come and go. And now, as we prepare for the change of leaving high school, prepare for more change. Don't be afraid if your plan for the future is not working out. Sometimes you will be forced to change your plans. Treasure the times when you are happy, because times will inevitably change. Don't give up when times are tough, because times will inevitably change. One plus one is two, two plus one is three, three plus one is four, and so on and so on. The more people you add, the greater you can be. When people get together, they can change the world. We are all human beings, and together we have the ability to make a world of light or one of chaos. We are the next generation of this world. When you are facing a daunting obstacle, know that you are not alone. We will all face trying times. But never lose hope that you can endure the tribulations. You are surrounded by support. So throughout our schooling, we have endured many experiences that have shaped who we are. These experiences have prepared us for our future. The road to success won't be given or easy, but it is always possible. So as we say farewell to Zama American High School, I leave you with one final thought. Math may not teach us how to add love or subtract hate, but it gives us every reason to hope that every problem has a solution. Congratulations, class of 2015. Have an amazing life.
Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to introduce to you at this time a very important person. After graduating from West Point, Colonel Carrera has gone on to serve her country in a phenomenal way. She has been stationed around the world in places such as Korea, Kansas, Germany, and Virginia, to name a few. She has, earned, uh, she has served in Operation Iraqi Freedom, and she has earned many awards, such as the Bronze Star, Bronze Star and the Meritorious Service Medal. Currently, she is serving as our garrison commander here on Camp Zama. Now, all of this is great, but what truly makes her amazing is she is the one who cancels school for us whenever there is bad weather. So, <laughs> yeah, without further ado, Colonel Carrera. <laughs> Thanks, Aaron. Oh, thank you for that, Aaron. <laughs> Well, good morning and thank you. It's truly my, uh, my pleasure and honor to be here today to speak to the class of 2015. <laughs> this is such a very special and memorable day, I know, for all of you, but it's yet a stepping stone in the grand scheme of your lives. Over the last 18 years, you have watched the world change a great deal. Your generation saw the vast expansion of what was once a new and developing World Wide Web. Phones went from cords to cellular and then became smart. VCR tapes became DVDs, then Blu-rays while streaming video through Netflix, Hulu, iTunes, and Amazon emerged as the newest, newest medium of entertainment. But perhaps the most defining moment of the last 18 years was the Al-Qaeda attack against the United States, thus plunging America into two wars spanning longer than any other that she had previously engaged in. You were toddlers when this attack occurred, and no doubt many of your parents answered the call to strike back in Operation Enduring and Iraqi Freedom. Although you probably didn't understand it when the attack occurred, you all now have a true appreciation for the struggles we as a nation have undergone in the aftermath of that day in 2001. You have a true appreciation because of your unique background. So I'll tell you right now, you are brats. <laughs> and, and, and I'm going to say this uh, from a perspective of whether you're a, a military dependent, a Department of the Army civilian your brats here on Camp Zama. Before you get angry and storm out on me, I have a little bit of history for you. The term brat in this instance is not derogatory, but it's enduring. You all grew up in military households at some point in your life. And you know how much we in the military love to speak in acronyms. In popular belief, brat is an acronym that dates back to the 19th century and means child of military parent. It stands for British Regiment Attached Traveler. Although I don't believe any of you are actually attached travelers to British regiments, the term is recognized around the world as a badge of honor. You, unlike many of your, your stateside peers, have grown up as part of the military lifestyle. You have faced hardships moving every two to three years, going to new schools, making new friends, and worrying about mom or dad and or dad uh, during those multiple deployments. Most American teenagers have no idea what you have all gone through. So to you I say, thank you for being a brat. So now that we've established that you are all brats, and that's in a good way, remember, Think about where you are. You're in Japan. How many Americans do you think have had the opportunity to graduate from an American high school while living in Japan? The answer is a minuscule percentage. You've had the opportunity to live with and have daily interactions with a whole other culture. I bet most of you speak some decent Japanese or at least, at the, ver at the very least, know some good phrases to get you by outside the gate, and some phrases that your parents and I probably don't want to know what they mean. <laughs> I guarantee you that your experiences 
here in Japan will not only help to shape you for the rest of your life, but will also make a pretty good resume bullet at that. So speaking of resumes, you all are going to have to add a line now because you have graduated from Zama American High School. <laughs> Congratulations. Your hard work and dedication over the last 12 years or so has finally paid off. Because of your background, because of the struggles and the advantages that you have had as a brat, you're going out into this world unique, stronger, and more equipped than your non-brat peers. The lessons you've learned up to this point were heard, were hard, were challenging in a myriad of ways, but I can assure you that you're better for them. Now, having said this, I hope you all realize too how little you know. How little you know at this moment. For today is just the beginning, and it is where you go from here that matters. Your class motto, today we follow, tomorrow we lead. It's perfect. It's perfect indeed. The first statement, today we follow, it kept you on compass. It kept you on compass up to this point. Now you get to get after that second part. Upon your commencement today, you have approached tomorrow. How exciting. With that, please allow me to emphasize just some lessons, a few lessons and values I hope you'll focus on as you move uh, into this next phase of your life. First and foremost, I urge you to do whatever you do for no other reason other than you love it and believe in its importance. Resist the easy comforts of complacency. Be worthy of all the advantages that come your way. You will not get that perfect job right from the get-go out of high school or even after college, for that matter. But you can't let this get you down. Work hard, think for yourself. Have a good work ethic. Take the jobs that no one wants to have and do them to the best of your ability. Have patience and eventually you will work yourself into that perfect, fulfilling job. And please remember that fulfilling life, it provides you the satisfaction of relevance in this world and a sense of being relevant is a great achievement in itself. Second, never stop learning. I learn, every, I learn something new each and every day and I know I will to the day I die. No one knows everything, but everyone knows something. Find people that know about things that you don't and pick their brains. I guarantee you that if you're always questing for knowledge, you will succeed in life. Third, don't burn bridges. The world is growing smaller and smaller with the advance of technology. You might not be able to stand someone right now, okay? but treat them with kindness and respect that we all deserve. You never know when and where you might meet them again down the road, and they may be able to help you. This is especially true in the military. Parents, am I right? This is, um, tell me that you have not PCS somewhere where there wasn't at least one person that you knew. Finally and most importantly, I say again, dream big. Work hard and never give up on those dreams. You can do anything that you want in life, but you will fail. It's already been said here today. You know, Erin Chase and I did not collaborate our comments, but a lot of what she said, um, I, I hold true and I speak to you today about the same. You'll fail. You'll fail a lot. But that's a good thing. The best people in our history have all been failures. But the trick is that they never give up. Learn from your mistakes when you fail and then learn how to recover because eventually you will succeed. And when you do, you'll feel that much better about yourself uh, and you'll feel much better when you failed three or four or even 10 times. So to wrap this up, I'd like to leave you all with a thought from our 16th president, President Abraham Lincoln, who also happened to fail at eight different elections and two businesses. He says, 
He said, in the end, it's not the years in your life that count. It's the life in your years. Use your life to make a difference. Work hard to succeed and remember that we are all extremely proud of you. Congratulations, class of 2015. I say ever forward, never backward. Set the standard, itchy on. Thank you, Colonel Carrera. Thank you so much for being here today. We appreciate your words. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment we've all been waiting for, the presentation of the diplomas to the class of 2015. Joseph Sho Atkinson. <laughs> Jacob Andrew Bayardo. Rachel Elizabeth Bostic. Gabriel Carl Brummage. Charlene Gaios Caslib. <laughs> Eric Antonio Cayenne. Aaron Nicole Chase. Christopher Nathaniel Collier, Jr. Alyssa Jodine Cruz. Casey Nicole Deal. Taryn Noah De Los Santos. Jason Terrell Dillard. <laughs> Samuel Dillon Driver. Deonte Nawoki Esprit.
Ashley Marie Franklin. Molly Rebecca Futrell. <laughs> Michael Paul Garcia. Kimberly Vargas Gaspar. <laughs> Jacob Stanton Gender. Kento Clifford Hall. <laughs> Akane Lynn Hansen. Megan Michelle Hurley. <laughs> Alva Jinya Ives. Maya Ann Ives. Oscar Canlis Jones. Dustin William Jones. <laughs> Takumi Kawashima. Rebecca Anna Kolevsky. <laughs> Thomas Isamu Kubera. Jessica Romika Lee. <laughs> Kiana K. Lerma. Mary Rose Bandolin Loman. <laughs> Jay.
Brian Scott Long. J.C. Vega Malikton. Gabrielle Sampson Marchand. Mercy Renee McCartan. <laughs> Kyler Dalton Merrill. Jonas L. Montoya. <laughs> Ashley Louise Moat. Megan Rachel Nardone. <laughs> Ruth Hannah Nay. Ruperto Conrad Newbill. <laughs> JQ Q Neumannivon. Jared Michael Ashiro. <laughs> Maria Laura Carlota Palcar. Logan Hoing Ban Fu Pereira. Arden W. Phipps. Marvin Raboy. Aaron John Marine Ricafrente. Serena Tesh Salas. Yeah. 
Jacob Robert Sides. Mackenzie Marie Simmer. <laughs> Jane Smithers. Nora Lisa Steiner. <laughs> Ruji Michael Van Dusen. Megan Nicole Walters. <laughs> Vicki Marie White. Seniors, please rise. On behalf of the Department of Defense Education Activity and its director, Mr. Thomas Brady, the Department of Defense Pacific and its director, Dr. Linda Curtis, along with the Japan District and its superintendent, Ms. Lois Rapp, I have reviewed and certified your official school transcripts and now have the honor and privilege to announce that you, as members of the class of 2015, are now graduates of Zama American High School. <laughs> graduates, please advance your tassel. On behalf of the faculty and staff of Zama American High School, I wish to each and every one of you happiness of a productive life, the respect of your fellow human beings, and the love of your family. Life is a series of starting over. It is now time for you to make a fresh start. I encourage you to make the most of your opportunities. Live today as though there is no tomorrow, but plan for tomorrow as if you will live forever. May the future be yours. Congratulations, graduates. Please turn and face your family and friends. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, may I present the graduating class of 2015. 